Exile, you are anxiously awaiting for the download to start. Your finger is prepared to enter the queue. You have your totally real League starter good to go, and you know it won't switch at the final second after you see this godly cleave of rage footage from Affliction League. However prepared you might be for the in-game trials you're going to face, from the new Necropolis League mechanic to the added uber bosses in T17 maps, another layer of prep out of game will ensure you have the best possible launch day. In total, I'd estimate it's a 62% more damage multiplier to any skill in PoE. Just watching this part of the video netted you an extra 4%. Get ready, Exiles. I'm about to preach my top five cracked league start tips for 3.24 Necropolis. Trust me, these will help tremendously. Talamoana, fellow Exiles. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see and what you hear. Now, let's talk some Path of Exile 1. Time for tip number one. Clean that computer, Exile. And when I say computer, I don't just mean your desk. Wipe off your keyboard or tap it a few times to make sure any leftover substances come out. Make sure your mouse is ready to click away and grab all that sweet currency. Wipe off your desk fully with a good desk cleaner and take a screen save rag for your monitors. They need to be brilliant on League Launch Day. It's at least a 10% more damage multiplier to every skill. Then move beneath your desk. Turn off your PC and open it on up. Get all the dust out of there and make sure your fans are crisp. We don't want anyone to overheat when they got some sort of loot bomb early on in maps, right? That's a way to ruin your day. While you're at the PC cleaning, clean the literal software off your PC too. That game you played a little while ago, Elden Ring was it? Wipe it clean. How about that other ARPG you thought you were going to love but ended up being bad? Go for it. You have my blessing. Uninstall last epoch. <laughs> got him. Next, vacuum around your space. The carpet, the hardwood floor, the pad of dirt people with Starlink apparently play on. Clean it all off and make sure you are in a healthy gaming environment. That's another 5% more damage. You won't regret it. Moving on over to a somewhat in-game idea. Tip number two is to set up a goal for yourself at League Start Exile. If you're new, plan to beat the campaign. It's only 10 acts. If you've played a few times, aim for the pinnacles. The Eater of Worlds isn't too bad. His younger brother, the Infinite Hunger though, uh, pretty spicy. If you've done endgame plenty, try to down the uber bosses. That's a super challenge. Even the new ubers, that's a cooler challenge. If you like free cosmetics, try to get as many challenges complete as possible. 40 out of 40 challenges is possible for anyone out there who is willing to put their mind to it, and the rewards this league are amazing. If you just like making builds and vibing, aim to hone three, four, or even five builds to endgame. Now that's a league-long project. If you set even one goal, that's at least a 20% more damage multiplier. Goals give you an end in sight, something to look forward to, a moment to reach, sit back, and let out a great exhale of relief. Then, once you finish it, you can either say, wow, that was great, time to set another goal. Or you can just peace out and go play the Diablo 4 killer. Last epoch, was it? Please, please, uh, don't come after me. Essentially, goals are underrated. They're great in your work, in your personal life, and for your leisure time. If you set one in game, I guarantee you, you're going to have an even better time. Jumping back out of game for tip number three, get good snacks, Exile. If you pick up at least three good ones, that's another 5% more damage. Don't grab snacks that make you feel weighty. Don't pick up anything that makes your mouth taste bad. That'll dull the blasting vibe. Don't have anything spicy. We already have more than enough spice in the PoE community. Instead, may I suggest the following. Peanuts for strength, fruit for energy, protein shakes for fullness, jerky for chewiness, and a wet nap for maximal hand cleaning after snacking. I swear you'll complete the campaign 17% faster if you eat lit snacks like these. Do it. We're staying along the fill your body up angle with tip number four, hydrate well, exile. Stray away from drinking anything too sugary, else you'll end up like the gemlings, corrupted and mindless. Stay with water-based products and make sure all your energy comes from fruit, good sleep, or purely hype about the league. Don't go for energy drinks, your hype might begin to beat out of your chest. Milk is a good alternative too, you can never get enough milk. Don't take water for granted. The water of life is essential for every exile out there, and I believe it's about a 5% damage more multiplier. 
Time to close this out with the most preachy tip possible, but I of course mean it in the best possible way. Tip number five is to be responsible, exile. Plan out your day beforehand. Ensure the people you care about know you plan to play some Path of Exile on League Start Day. If you're upfront and kind, people won't care. In fact, they'll probably encourage and support you if they care about you. For example, my daughter is having a sleepover with Grandma on League Start Day. I communicated my desire for this weeks and weeks ago, giving plenty of time for plans to form, both on my end for League Start stream and on Grandma's for her fun time with my daughter. Additionally, careful with sleep. Lasting sessions for 12 or 24 hours can be fun, but they last a while. If you have other responsibilities immediately after launch day, remember them and don't sacrifice your performance then. Path of Exile will be waiting when you return. A little responsibility gets us a neat 13% more damage. Good stuff. League starts are special for us PUE players. Just make sure everyone else around you knows that in the most diplomatic way possible. Keep me in check. Are there any League Start tips I'm missing when it comes to our lives outside the game? Let me know and have an amazing Necropolis League start. And remember, I am streaming. Here's a tremendous thanks to everyone who watched this video to the end and a massive thank you to each and every one of my supporters. You can help grow and support this channel for free by liking and sharing this video, hitting subscribe and the sub notification bell, and leaving a totally sane comment. I appreciate you. Anyways, that's all for this one. Talakura, fellow exiles.